Pisces, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you, no particular subject. We're going to take an issue, something we know, something we don't know. Recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended, where we'll dive in deeper. Here's some pentacles, lovely. Um, you can watch this for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 12th house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support. Whatever it comes, liking, sharing, subscribing, purchasing private reads, Patreon members, you name it. Um, it all helps the channel grow. It's very much appreciated. All information is in the description box. Um, cross watchers are more than welcome. And um, private reads are open again for the next 10, 11 days whilst I'm settled here. Um, so not many available. A couple in the morning, a couple in the evening based on my time uh, uh, zone here. So if you do want to get in, um, website link is in the description box. Okay, Pisces. Let's do two more. What is going on with you guys? We have the Fool. Okay, beautiful. This is this is just relaxing into some. Oh, interesting. Hearing Cannonball by Damien Rice. The seed of life is at the bottom here. A seed has been planted. What is it that we're planting? What do we know? What don't we know? Recent past. Advice. Potential outcome. I knew this was coming. Okay, interesting. Something is gaining momentum big time. We have the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Page of Wands, Two of Wands, the Devil and the Nine of Wands, Three of Pentacles, High Priestess, Five of Cups, the Wheel. Okay, guys, you could be seeing 101 a lot standing out for me here. 12 12. Um, okay, 111. 11 11 today is 11 11 it is uh, november the 11th um interesting so we've got the fool this is somebody that's kind of just it's a strange one i'm kind of getting here there's a there's something that's gaining momentum here where there's a logical aspect of things is so I'll go through it because my mind's all over the place. Mm. We've got the full. What we're aware of is the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is the spy, is the stalker card. It, it, and there's nothing malicious about this. This is somebody that's just very, seems very, very interested in your energy. What we're not aware of is the Knight of Swords. This energy is getting, it's gaining some sort of momentum. And I feel like whoever this is, this could be you, by the way, whatever this is, somebody has, you may have met somebody and the the connection was intense. The recent past is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands indicates some sort of um, chemistry, instant chemistry, some sort of passionate connection between the two of you. And I feel like whatever's gone on here, there's, there could be a pause where it didn't seem to go anywhere because there was an overanalyzing. This is air energy. This is thinking 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 um i feel like there's there's a process that's taking place here this is a connection that seems to be reaching a level of an emotional connection i think there's been instant passion whether this has taken place in the physical world i don't know this could be just an intensity between two people um, then there's been some sort of understanding that's taken place. And the next level then is opening up to love. Your advice is the magician. What do you want? At the moment, you're embodying the Queen of Wands, I feel. And I know you're a water sign and this is, this is fire. Um, and I know don't get caught up in genders, but the embodiment of the Queen of Wands is magnetic. So whatever you're doing, mastery of self, you are magnetically drawing in what it is you desire. So the magician is here to say, what do you want with the seed? 
the seed of life at the, at the, um, uh, in the bottom of the pool. What happens next? We've got the fall, then we move on to the magician. The magician's doing something with the water. What do you want to do with this seed? There is somebody that's in your life or there's some sort of connection or somebody could be just feeling this about you or vice versa, you could be feeling this about them. It's going through a process, an intensity, an overanalyzing, or at least a, an understanding of the connection. Now the magician is, what do we want from this? And the outcome then is the Knight of Cups. So it's like we've gone through this stage of passion, intellect, love. The only thing now is to ground it into reality with a pentacle energy. And the first pentacles we get is straight after the Queen of Wands, which is mastery of self. When you master the self, you can bring in anything you desire. So there's just something here about recognizing um, the process of what's going on here. Because this feels like chemistry, feels like love, and it feels like understanding. So it, essentially it feels like a safe environment where both of you can express emotions and feel supported. The only drawback I see with a situation like this um, is this intense desire, because there is intense desire here with this chemistry of the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. The only downside of intense desire tends to be um, a loss of self. A, you know, being consumed by the relationship. If you can balance the passion, if you can balance the love, if you can create the space for the connection and have trust and freedom in this process, you've, you're, on the, you're on the path here to, to something that could be possibly labeled as a love of a lifetime. Interesting. Let's check out the lovers. Because there's something pretty intense here. Could be an age gap. We've got the Page of Cups next to the Emperor. Doesn't have to be. you believing if this is real because the lovers is wedged between the eight of wands and the seven of cups the other side of the uh, eight of wands is the eight of cups and the other side of the seven of cups is the hangman which is you guys and so we've got saturn in pisces which is where we currently are we've gone direct and then we've got pisces yes this is venus in, in scorpio but for me it's very there's, there's illusions attached to the Seven of Cups. So this screams Neptune for me, these two cards together. So we've got Neptune currently retrograde. We've got Saturn current, in your sign of Pisces. Saturn currently in your sign. I, I think you've been brought here a very, very passionate encounter where mystical unions and dreams can be reality. It's just what you do with that. The magician says you've got all the tools to do what's necessary. Again, my only fear here is losing yourself in the process. Um, the final card is judgment. This is a higher level love, Queen of Cups straight after judgment. Both very similar cards in terms of the energy receiving down. Pisces, you are in for a potential ride of your lifetime with this connection providing you don't get carried away and lose yourself in the process. Um, again, like I say, if you balance that love, if you, I'm, I'm gonna look for the, uh, the justice card in a second. So I wanna see, you know, it's, it's the card of balance, but also it's the south node um, of, of karmic relationships. And when I say karmic, I just mean fated. Um, and there's, if you can achieve that balance of love, passion, trust, freedom, that type of energy, you run to a real winner here. So let's see what um, Justice has to say.
Yeah, I, I mean, I've not got there yet, but we just, we've got the devil wedged between the two of wands and the nine of wands. So that sort of intensity of losing yourself into the passion is with the uh, Mars in Aries, so I think Tower and the Emperor. And then we've got uh, the Moon in Sagittarius, which is um, the High Priestess meets Temperance. You have the ability here to temper your passions. And if you do, like I say, this this is a this is a keeper. This is a, a long-term energy of friendship, of safety, of just passion and everything that you want. It's, it's wonderful to see. <laughs> okay, again, we've got a choice here. Um, we, the, the balance is, you're at a pivot point, and this is why you probably need to keep checking in on yourself to, to make sure that you are, um, you know, ensuring freedom in this relationship because it can get carried away. Justice is wedged between the sun, so the joy and happiness, and the Seven of Swords, self-sabotage. Um, we've got an interesting dynamic playing out here, Pisces. I would just trust the process, trust that if this energy is safe to open up to, then it's safe to also be free with. So keep grounded. Like I say, out of this spread, we've got all the elements except the uh, Earth element, but it does come with mastering yourself straight after the Queen of Wands. Stay grounded in this, and this has got the potential to be absolutely incredible. Okay? Interesting. I like it. So, in your extended Pisces, we're going to look at, um, we'll take the energy of this dynamic, what we know, what, we'll, we'll mirror this reading, and see what we get. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. We have Gemini Aquarius. We have Gemini Virgo. We have... Sun in Virgo, Jupiter in Capricorn, Mercury in Cancer, Mars in Aries, Capricorn, Moon in Sagittarius, Mars in Capricorn, Cancer Pisces, Mars in Scorpio, Sagittarius, Mercury in Virgo, Aquarius, Sun in Scorpio, Leo. We have swords, we have wands, we have cups, we have the pentacles of the eight. We have everybody. Okay, let me know. See you soon. Bye.